somewhere between south and east. <laughs> ah, I don't know. Somewhere I should be there shortly. Well, somebody's been waiting for you forever. Well, tell that somebody that I'll be there very, very soon. Madam Bridger, <laughs> you get here fast before your boy gets a booking hat. <laughs> um, are you a pastor? No. Why? Well, you were quoting the Bible. Well, you've been laughing out loud. Does that make you? Oh. Are you calling me fat? You prefer large? How many times have I told you to stop comparing me to the other guys you've been with? Okay. Why don't we just date? Ah, this conversation again. Look, you know I like you. And I want you to be mine. I'm not ready to be anyone's bill. We've had this conversation a million times. When I'm ready, Or something else. I do. Look, whatever it is you want, I'll give you. I'll give you money. I'll give you thousands of properties. I mean, you you just name it. You you wouldn't want much. I don't already. I'm not after anyone's money. What about love? I'll serve you breakfast in bed. I'll cook food for you in my hundred thousand dollar kitchen. I mean, I'll treat you like a queen. That sounds like a very expensive luxury resort treatment. Oh boy. Okay, okay, listen. Listen. <laughs> listen, wait, hold on. I'll think about it. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> we'll do this at my own pace. No pressure. Okay? <laughs> Can I get a kiss to see the deal? Uh, kiss on. Because you are staring at me again. Ah. 
What? I'm a coward. Oh, come on, you're not. But I am. I mean, I've pined after you so long, and yet I've not been able to say anything sensible to you. But hey, don't they say action speaks louder than words? Hmm? You are the most beautiful girl in the world, you know that. Will you marry me? Okay, I, I know it's a bit of a shock, but... Don, this is not just a bit of a shock. This is incredibly shocking. Why? I mean, you're single. I'm single. We both love the church and are passionate about God. Why can't we get married? Well, I can't just marry you like that. I need to get to know you a bit more. And I need to pray and ask God if indeed you are the one. Okay. That's, that's fair, but just so you know, Sandra, I have been praying for a long time and it's already been revealed to me. Really? Yes, I can't even tell you what color your wedding dress is going to be. <laughs> really, John? Sandra, you're not in the office. All right, I'm coming. I have to go. Sure. I'll see you at the service. So? So, nothing. I am not ready for marriage. He asked you to marry him. Yes, and I said no. No? Yes, I'm not in a hurry. But he's ready, Sandra. So let him go marry somebody else. Right now, it hasn't been revealed to me. And when I shut my eyes, I do not see him. Sandra, do you know how many girls will be, be thrilled? thrilled to get a marriage proposal from any man. Yes, I do know, darling. But I am not one of them. So, he's free to marry anybody else. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe God will send you an angel from heaven. Now, won't that be something? <laughs> Let me help you with the box. <laughs> now, push those plates in so they don't tip over. Now, carefully, take the juice to the table. Ah, 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 ah. Always use a, a napkin. Carefully, to the table. Slowly, slowly. Oh. George. Yes, sir. Oh, you're here. Indeed. Oh. I thought you were still lying in. Oh, George, lying in isn't the option anymore. Hmm? You lying, you probably never rise again. <laughs> so, <clears throat> you know, old age is no place for sissies. You're certainly not a sissy, sir. I saw you dancing at Dr. Quayner's daughter's wedding. All the young girls were in awe. Oh. <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you for lessons. Oh, lessons? Some of those moves, you know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> not bad, not bad, not bad. <laughs> now, let's go this way. <laughs> you got it, you got it. <laughs> you know where I learned that one from? Only one guess, sir. <laughs> anyway, so what do we have for breakfast? It'll be on the table shortly, sir. Oh, yeah? Thank you. Waiting? Yes, sir. George, please. 
I'm coming. I'm coming. Late night, Miss Caesar? Why would you say that? George! After all these years, I don't know why you try to hide things from me. You know what? I don't even know why I bother. <laughs> I don't know why you do. Oh dear. How many of these need to go to the laundry? And you do know you're doing it yourself. I will. I know the rules. Uh -huh. Well, since you know the rules, you should know not to keep your father waiting on an empty stomach. Shoot! Is he back from his walk? Mm -hmm. And he's taking a shower. And I suggest you do the same. You smell like tobacco and cheap perfume. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. Why don't you come sit with me for a moment? Oh. Mm -hmm. I know you like to have your fun, and that is exactly what I like about you too. But? Um, I don't think I was going to say a but. <laughs> you know, I'm sure there are many out there who would love to settle down with you. Well, I don't know about many, but I know there are some. George. I just believe that at the right time, I'll find someone. Mm-hmm. Like the fishes in the sea? More like the ones in your soup. <laughs> <laughs> well, your dad's 60th is coming up in a few days, and I'm sure he has um, some expectations. Well, I'm going to get him a wonderful gift, but mm -hmm. I was wondering if we couldn't, like, do a party. Mm -hmm. Now, you know your father likes to spend these special days with his loved ones only. So I'm afraid a party just won't work. What about a church service in the house? Still too big. Your father likes very intimate gatherings. Why don't you two get together and plan something? Come on, George, that's not going to happen in Why a minute. Why not? You have a common goal. Obviously, our taste levels are completely different. She likes the noise. I prefer solitude. Come on, George. You know that girl has no taste. She would probably suggest we drink Asana for dessert. <laughs> and what is wrong with Asana? My point exactly. She's not humble. Too no. Going about walking on air like she owns the world. Isn't that being confident? Well, if she only got off a holier-than-thou horse, She'll probably realize that there are a lot more important things in life than being cooped up in that church building with sycophants. Oh, Linda, I'm surprised at you. Your mother loved church. She made sure you went every Sunday. You know, she believed the teachings would steer you on the right path. Well, evidently, her toe just paid off with one of us. I'm sure mommy is just turning in her grave right now. 
knowing that Belinda is the signpost at every party in this town. Oh, don't forget, my dear. Your mother liked the high life too. Listen, her parties, they were the talk of the town. My point exactly. Mother was sophisticated mm. and elegant, just like me. My God, if mother saw what I'd become of Sandra, she would just die all over again. <laughs> Now I know what I want for my birthday. Aren't you asking me what? Daddy, you're going to tell us regardless. A church service? I can invite my choir to come sing for you. The choir? Yes, I'm in the choir. Ah. Right. Excuse me? Well, I didn't know that's how you spent your evenings at the church. Nonetheless, we'll not be subjected to your singing. Daddy, I can organize a barbecue. Arrange for a live band, some grilled pork, chicken, music yep. everywhere. Make all the noise. Why don't you? Yeah. Like your choir won't sing and make noise. Oh, stop it, both of you. Stop it. I want to meet your boyfriends. Yeah. Bring me some decent uh, looking men for me to look at. Daddy, you sound like you're in the meat market. Uh, <laughs> do I? <laughs> well, it sounds like you want an exhibition. I mean, bring me some of your friends who are male for me to see if there are any prospects. My daddy, I don't have that many male friends. Mm. And I wonder why. Or well, maybe because I don't have to change a man every night. Slut. Well, if you did, they'll realize how very boring you are. But thank God I don't need a man to validate my life. How sad would that be? Stop it. Stop it. One each. I do not ask for much, do I? Huh? One each. <laughs> Well, I know just the perfect man. Really? Fantastic. <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> oh, this is good to hear. And what about you, Belinda? <laughs> I'm sure she knows many imperfect ones. <laughs> Out of many comes one so great. Daddy, don't worry. You meet my boyfriend on your birthday. Oh, that's perfect. Good to hear. Mm? George will make the necessary arrangements to invite your grandmother and a few close friends of mine over for lunch. Mm? So, tell your dates to dress appropriately. Mm? But Daddy, when are you coming to watch me sing at the church? When he's seen me dance. Ooh, move over that ass, it's too fat. Ooh, ooh. Oh. I didn't know you're a professional dancer. In what category, if I may ask? Pole dancing? You better watch your mouth, you fat oh, little girl. Oh, what? You stop it! What is it? You know, your mom will be very sad if she should be looking down on you both right now. She bought twins. Same womb, on the 
same day. Oh yes. Both of you. You used to be so close. What happened? Life. Life happened, Daddy. Clearly we chose different paths. Excuse me. So what are you saying, Daddy? That I shall allow Belinda tramp all over me because I'm a Christian? No, 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 no. Of course not. All I'm saying is, you need to try a little bit harder to understand her ways. But why can't she understand my ways, Daddy? Because even the Bible says, in 1 Corinthians 15.33, do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. Hmm. I love you, Daddy, but I can't save her without my own destruction. Excuse me. Come in. Hello, Sister Sandra. May I come in for a moment? Of course, Pastor Sechi, please come in. Mm. How are you doing? I'm fine. I love your blue suit. Thank you. Great. Is everything okay? By the grace of God. How, how is work and how are the books looking? Not bad. Oh. Yeah, it was a great Sunday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if we continue like this, we can finish the Kaneshi branch in no time. Wow, that's some awesome news. Hallelujah. Amen. We pray he continues to give to his children so that his children can also give to uplift his work. And also to thank you for your amazing service to the church. Oh, come on, Pastor Sage. Listen, let me finish. We all know you can make a six-figure salary anywhere with the kind of credentials that you have. But you are here. Doing God's work. Oh, that's good to know. Yes. We feel lucky to have you. Thank you. But God knows that there's no other place I'd rather be but here. Oh, that's like music to my ears. <laughs> anyway, the main reason why I came by, that as the CFO, I needed your attention and advice on how we record this in our books. Yeah. Are these prayer requests? Yes, but uh, for more specific purpose, marriage. I understand your surprise, Sister Sandra. Yes. But unlike you, most of the young ladies in this church, as young as 21, want to get married. They are so desperate for God to pair them up with their other house. Yes. I see. And these are all women? Yeah, most. Yeah. The men are shy when it comes to these things. They wait until when hitting 40 before they make these things their priority. And, and the funny part is, the requests are being put in for them. So whether they like it or not, they are being worked on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. So would you want me to create a separate account for marriage requests? Uh, yeah, uh, by names. I thought... You mean I should create an account for every person who has made the request? Um, not for those who make the request, but those they request for. This Sunday in particular, there's this young man who seemed to have attracted the attention of all the ladies. Yes, everyone seemed to think he's the one. Brother John Annan. Yes, there's been some requests for him in the past, but something seemed to have triggered the interest by all the ladies suddenly. Yeah. Something or someone. Sorry? Yeah, uh, no, nothing. Okay, so um, I would have a think about it and revert on how we should go about it. Oh, brilliant. I knew I could always count on you. 
Thank you very much. So you have a good day, Sister Sandra. All right, you too, Pastor Sachi. <laughs> okay. Um, Pastor Sachi. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Go on. What exactly do these ladies ask for in their prayer requests? Oh, a good man, of course. They ask for a God-fearing man, someone who can take good care of them, and then someone they could build a future with. And John Annan is all of these? According to them. But you know, <laughs> man proposes and God decides. Yeah, at the end of the day, John will and can marry just one of them. So, we see. Of course. Thank you. Thank you too. I'll see you later. Jane, where are you? So what? You told the whole church? Just the ones I knew who had always been interested in him but could not approach because of you. Sandra, I'm confused. I thought you said you're not interested. I didn't say that. I said I wasn't going to marry him. Um, isn't that the same thing? No, it's not. I just needed time. Sandra, John has been pining after you for months. You've always said you're not interested. I was only weighing my options. Against what? Against what other plans God may have had. Okay, so has that changed? Haven't you heard of what I've said? God's plan is beginning to align. Uh, which means? Which means that I want to consider his proposal. You would marry John? Hmm. Not yet, but I want him to first meet my dad. Well, that is a huge step. Oh, I'm happy for you. <laughs> so, what do we do about all these prayer requests? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? All these prayers for one man from all these women? You don't think God will get confused? <laughs> Sandra, remember what you said. Uh, God's plan is aligning in your favor. Plus, John wants you and no one else. So you have nothing to worry about. Madam, we're here. Here where? In the middle of the streets? Um, according to the Google Maps, we are here. At, look, it's indicated that... Raymond, I know how to read a Google Map. But obviously, I'm looking for a house with a gate, hopefully. Not a street. Nobody lives on a street. Uh, Madam, we... You know what? It's okay. Never mind. The person I'm looking for does not live on the street. He's well-to-do. He owns properties all around. I'm even sure half of this community belongs to him. His name is Bill. Um, Bill. Okay, you know what? That doesn't even matter. Just go down, get down, ask the nearest houses, the rich looking ones. I'm sure he lives in one of them. What does he look like? What does it matter? But you don't have a surname, so... Jesus! <clears throat> Tall. Dark. Handsome. Rich. Raymond, just get down. Anybody that you see that is taller, handsomer than you, that could be him. Go. Move.
Hey, boo. Check. What's up? What's Bill's surname? Thomas. Why? Really? I don't know. I always thought it was... Anyways, <laughs> never mind. Wow, Belinda. This guy's been chasing you for ages and you don't even know his name? His surname, Carol. His surname. Ah, oh, you know, but we've hardly spent time together. The only time that we spend is mostly when we are, you know. <laughs> Anyways, we're in the middle of nowhere. And my PA is getting on my last nerves. Oh, how is he? How's who? Isn't that your fine young boy? Raymond? Yes, he's cute. Okay, if you say so. We followed Google Maps, Carol. Are you sure he lives in Laboni? Well, that's the direction my brother gave me when I asked. He said he lives somewhere around the wine shop. Why don't you just give him a call? No, I want to surprise him. If he's married, well, his wife will hear some words from me. <laughs> this sounds serious. What's changed between Saturday and Monday? <sighs> Trust me, a lot. Anyways, I'll fill you in when I see you this evening. I have to go. I don't think he lives around here, but the manager at the wine shop says to drive further up um, and ask from a shop over there. Apparently he knows a bill that fits your description, but he lives further up. Masa, have I told you to go anywhere? Sorry. Can I pick this, please? It could be work. Okay. Hello, good afternoon. Raymond's phone. How may I help? Hello, Raymond. My name is Carol, Belinda's friend. Um, I don't know if you remember me. I was in your office a few weeks ago. I took your number, but never called. How are you? Hi. I'm okay. <laughs> I understand. I know you can't talk, but I'd, I'd like to buy you a drink sometime. Um, okay. Oh, that's great. It's a date then. We'll send you time and location. <coughs> so, who was it? Oh, that was my aunt. Um, excuse me. What are we still doing here? Move! In the home of Sue Stay One. You had my back, I had your back, baby. I thought you were the one in front of baby. And now we all grow and ain't the same. It ain't the same. First you say you love me, then you tell me that you need me. Keep me hanging on along in my feelings Then we do this over and over Tell me baby, tell me baby Tell me baby You know that you're the one that I want you Yeah, feels like you're the one that you want for Is this some kind of joke? This is where the direction led us So, if the direction leads you to a cemetery We will go to a cemetery to meet the person Do I look like the kind of person who dated a guy from this, from this Area. So what do we do? Do you want me to go back? You are not helping. Thank you very much. Just turn around and let's go. Hey. Hello. Yes, sir. See here. We find Abby. Abby. Ah, I want me in the place. Can we go? Can we go? Just turn around and let's go. What time we go? She feel my J B M O Y O. You ain't talk about that when you talk. Be a be a boy. Okay, be a. She feel my J that boy now. Oh my name, me Bill. Me Bill, you cry for me. Me, you don't talk about me. Oh, eh, eh, in the le, in the le. Be a, he's here, he's here. Okay. Is he tall? I mean, T. Is he thick? I do a few, oh na. In in that one, what offer name? Oh, Nipapa. That boy now. Nipapa, I mean, but much less. Okay, eh, Tati. Yes. That's why Nipapa came back. Come back, I thought I was like, I'm too much here, be. This is your fault. You don't do anything. Oh, you don't do anything. You're aware, right? You know, I'll just go. Eva. Kakak boy, no, no, 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 kakak boy, no, no,
I need some signatures urgently. Come in. What else? Lunch? I can organize something light. Okay. Thank you. You got it.
Look, I didn't know he last day. Okay, well, we can shower now. Because no, I didn't want to lock one up. Let's shower. I need some signatures urgently. Come in. What else? Lunch? I can organize something light. Okay. okay. Thank you. You got it. Hello? Who's this? You called. Who are you? Can I speak to Kwame Poku? I asked who you were. I'm his girlfriend. Who is this? I'm his wife. You better stay away from him. Kwame is not married. Says who? Your deleted mind. He's married with four kids. You better go find your own man. Bill is me. Sorry? Look, you know what? Never mind. He's dead to me. I need a guy to introduce to my father. That's what he says he wants for his 60th. Oh, that is why you went looking for Bill Thomas. Ni Papa, Carol. Ni Papa. And he lives in the slums with a dirty towel wrapped around his waist. What? Yes. You know what? Forget him. Did you know that Kwame Poku is married? What? And you didn't tell me? Come on, Linda. I thought you knew. Plus, you've never expressed interest in any of these guys past spending a few hours with them. Well, except for Bill. Listen, and don't even mention his name here. Bill, Nick, Bang, Bang, or whatever he calls himself. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> ha, I'm so glad you find this so very funny. <laughs> no, I, I just can't believe he would lie like that. Well, don't they all? Listen, I've gone through my call list, I've gone through my phone, I have a lot of names. But, like you said, I don't know these guys well enough to even take them to daddy. You know Blankson. Blankson? Abeku Blankson. Yes, you seemed to like him until he left for the States. Well, he's not here. No, he's back. Been for a few days. He actually asked about you, but I thought Bill... Where is he now? 
You want to go to his house? Well, you bet I do. Maybe he lives in the hostel. But I'd like to know firsthand. Okay. I'll get the directions for you, Mrs. Bak Bak. Today. Yeah, yeah. Ah, but he always comes for rehearsal. What do you mean he didn't come today? Uh, are you okay? Do you know where he lives? I, I can ask someone. Uh, you would go to his house? Do you have his number? I would just like to call him and make sure he's fine, that's all. I, I, can, I can ask someone. All right, please do. You know if God is in the detail, you don't need to panic, right? Yes, I know. But it's not just my dad. My sister is also expected to bring home a man, and trust me, she has a lot of them. Okay, but you can't let him know you were that desperate. Do I look desperate? Yes! I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go inside. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to Just call my master. You see, I told you that is off. I beg, just tell him that I want to see him. But is it my fault he's not picking up the phone? I understand, madam. But until he picks up, I can't let you be. Here. Are you bribing a police officer? Ah, I thought you were a security man. It's the same. How was your day, Miss Caesar? Oh dear. What's wrong? Are you okay? Completely humiliated. Well, what happened? Nothing. I feel great. Really? Good and evening. How are you, my dear? Oh, I'm perfect. Fabulous day. Really? Yes. yes. Okay, well, dinner, anybody? No. no. I'm full from the red of God. Yeah. And I had a Romantic lunch. Ah, oh, I'm just reading from it. Oh, it was perfect. All right, I'll be in my room. Me too.
Oh, hi. Are you okay? Yes, uh, I am. I lost my phone yesterday and I went around. Oh, wonderful. Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. I mean, wonderful that you, you're okay. I was worried about you. Really? Yes. Well, um, <clears throat> you know about um, you and I? Well, I was thinking about what you said the last time, and I would want to consider it. You marry me? Uh, but you'd first have to meet my dad. <laughs> well, that's cool. That, that is cool. So when? Saturday. It's his birthday, and that'll be the perfect time to show you to him. Won't he be busy, you know, guest and all? Well, there would be friends there, but trust me, he would have the time to meet you. Well, this is music to my ears. I can bring my parents too. Uh, first meet him, and then we let the parents meet afterwards. Great. Great. <laughs> Sandra. I'll make you the happiest woman on earth. What do you think? Uh, it's cool. It's beautiful. You don't think it's too tight? I don't want my sister giving me the evil eye while I was, you know, claiming the good spot in her maxi dress. Uh, Ma'am, you've never really cared about what anybody thinks about you. I like that. I mean, it's nice. Hello, Daddy. This is my boyfriend, Abeku Blankson. We've been dating for months now. Okay. For weeks? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, how long have you known him? You're asking an awful lot of questions today, aren't you? Sorry. I thought you... Okay. I think I'm going to try the other one, okay? Excuse me. Hello? Hey, you good? Yes. Great. So, I have just booked just for Saturday at the rooftop. Saturday? No, I can't do Saturday. Why? Are you busy? Um, yes, I'll be working. Belinda is going to be busy at her father's sister. Yes. What are you going to do tagging along? Well, she may need me, and besides, you know, hey, listen, I have to go. I'll call you back. Okay. I really don't know about this color. I prefer the other one. Hey, Miss Caesar, um, what time would you like me to come by on Saturday? To do what? Your father's. <laughs> oh, dear. It's a family affair with potential boyfriends. Don't you have somebody you'd rather be with? <sighs> I think I'm going to take the other one. Excuse me. Whoa. How about that? <laughs> it's so 
puzzles me why you wouldn't take a second wife, because you obviously can shoot. You're embarrassing, you know that? <laughs> I've been thinking about this party like a 12-year-old. You think the girls are going to bring some girls? Oh, no. It's a private gathering. Oh. And uh, as for the girls, I've given them a task. You finally decided they joined the business? Oh, no, I told you that I wouldn't force it on them. You see, the business will run okay when uh, they become directors when uh, I'm gone. What won't be okay is if they don't heal from the loss of their mother and start loving each other. Well, listen, they're still young. Oh, no, they are not. <laughs> they are fast approaching their mid-30s. <laughs> Now, listen, do you remember us when we were in our 30s? <laughs> oh, yes. Kids, wives. I was even on my second. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, I have actually asked them to invite their special male friend, at least one each, to the party. Oh, I think you're expecting wedding bells soon. Well, I do, Chrissy. You know, marriage is tough. And uh, it's even tougher when you start having children. But when these challenges start rearing their heads, uh, uh, that's when uh, they will start loving each other, sharing ideas. Uh, and, no, Quisi, I want this to happen. Okay, I'm still hoping the girls bring other girls. Quisi, you are on your sixth marriage. Are you not tired losing battles with women? Who said I mind losing? <laughs> oh dear. Your mother should see you now. She'd be so pleased. You look just like your mother. Mother was an elegant and beautiful woman. Oh yes, she was. And sexy. Oh, dear. You look just like your mother. Well, thank you, Uncle George. Mother was a sexy woman. George, you said the same thing to me a moment ago. And I meant it. And I meant it for you, too. How can one woman be elegant and sexy at the same time? Just the thing. She was both. She was sensible and she was very exciting. I promise you, she was both of you in one. Oh, I'd like to be part of that gossip gang. Oh dear. Hey. Oh, oh dear. dear. <laughs> Daddy, may I say that you look like a million bucks and some change? Thank you, my darling. And you looking so sexy, like a Greek goddess. Daddy, you look radiant as an angel. God's very own son. Thank you, my sweetheart. And you, as usual, looking elegant, like the swan on holy waters. <laughs> That's great. And uh, you, George, I'd like to use this opportunity to say a big thank you for the great care you've been giving us all these years uh, and uh, giving us that love. Uh, even on those days when we are not worthy of it. Hmm? Thank you so much. Anyway, I'd like to remind you all that today we are celebrating only one thing. Love. Love. Because that's exactly what we all feel for this great man. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chrissy. Hey, 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 hey. Is this some prayer meeting going on? Am I late for some proposal? Hey, Uncle huh? Chrissy. Mm -hmm. That's great. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. I'm going to be a real pain if any guy comes around, I mean around <laughs> So, where are the men? Okay, all right. I needed to tell him I'm expecting some few friends of yours today. Oh, yes. And uh, you could see. No bullying. No bullying. At least not yet. Daddy! <laughs> Come on. Oh, where is the whiskey? Huh? Hello? Hello? There you are. Hi, 
guys are sexy. Hi, handsome. Wow, you look hot. <laughs> well, thank you. You look beautiful. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Hello there. You shouldn't keep your guests out in the sun. Is that your father? Um, George. He takes care of the house. He's like a... A butler. Yes, but he's <laughs> more like family. Oh, okay. So, like, you guys live here? We are... Like royalty. And I love it. <clears throat> Welcome, gentlemen. I'm George. Welcome to the home of the Caesars. Thank, Thank you. you. My name is John Annan. Pleased to meet you, sir. Pleasure's all mine, John. Oh, I'm a Biku Blankson. I do all kinds of sports, and I run a very, very successful IT company. Nice to meet you, Mr. Blankson. Same here. Now, come in, all of you, before this heat turns you into roasted potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, 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 well. It feels so good finally to meet the boys in my girls' lives. Boys? Oh, yes, boys. After all, I call you girls, so I can call them boys. Uh, plus, I'm not sure if they mind me calling them boys, do you? No, not at all. Oh. <laughs> Are you see? Edward. Yeah, hello. A phone call from the president. Oh. I need to take this call. Excuse me for a moment. And, uh, no, come on. Show the boys around. Eh? Show them around. I'll be right back. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mr. President. Right! Do you want to see my bedroom? Of course. Great, let's go. <laughs> Are you okay? Wow. This is your house? Come on, this is not my house. This is my dad's house. Uh, well, yeah, but it's still your house. Oh, please. It's not that intimidating. Let me show you around. for you to call? You said not to call you, remember? I don't know long distances. <laughs> Even being in okay. the same city is hard enough. I get it. <laughs> so, now that we're in the same room, what do you say we... Who is it? Your grandmother is here. Okay, I'm coming. Stay here. I'll be back. Hey, hey. I didn't know you were a twin. Oh, she's pretty. But not as much as you, though. Yes, we're twins, but she's different. She will bore you to death. Stay put. I'll be back. There's more where that came from. <laughs> Some girls have. The fun. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. You have a very nice family. <laughs> I didn't know you had a twin. Well, we're completely different. She's fire and I'm um, what I think. <laughs> Both dangerous when you play with it. <laughs> I think my father likes you. He's a very wealthy man. 
Yeah, he's worked hard all his life. Growing things and exporting it all around the world. You're not interested in joining him in his business? Maybe later on. But for now, I want to focus on what God has asked me to do. Which is working at the church. And when it's no more? I mean, uh, sorry, I don't I mean... I know what you mean, John. I want to focus on the present. The Bible says we should not worry about tomorrow. So when the time comes, I'll know what to do. I guess. Now. About us. George. Okay, I'm coming. My grandma's here. Okay. No, you stay. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Make yourself comfortable, okay? Okay. So the moral of the story here is what? Cry until you get what you want. <laughs> oh! Sandra, what about you? What God has put together. Oh boy. And what's that supposed to be? Must you quote the Bible at every instance you get? Why not? I live by it. Oh, for some soul. Oh, why are you girls fighting all the time? Huh? Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't realize there was anybody else out here. I was told to wait here. Well, upstairs. Well, me too. John, right? Yeah, I'll be cool, right? Yeah. Nice to meet you once nice again. Nice to meet you, man, bro. <laughs> so what do you think? About? About everything. I saw how shocked you look when you realized you lived here. How long have you been dating? Um... Well, Listen, I've been banking that body for a few months now. I traveled, I came back, and here I am. Like, would you even believe it? I feel like I'm the luckiest man alive. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> no, hold on. So, like, you guys are not dating? Did you hear anything I said? I've been in town for just a week. She found me and told me to come meet her old man. I'm sure he asked to meet the men in their lives or something like that. So we're only here because he asked. Have you been invited here before? Because up until today, I didn't even realize she was this damn rich. Can you imagine this? <laughs> come check this out. <laughs> Yo, come, come, come check it out. Look at this. <laughs> I promise you, I have no intentions of going back after today. I mean, look at this, bro. Look at this. <laughs> Woo! So, I was gonna ask you, which one of these two guys got paid to come here today? Oh, how, Uncle? Come on. You can tell me. All right, when I look at both of them, they look overwhelmed. Well, Mai was pleased to come. He's just as in love with me as I am with him. And mine was sent to me by God. Our relationship is ordained. Odd what? Where do you get off believing such crap? When I chose the path of light from your darkness. It's obvious that he's only here because of your body. That's the only thing you put on display anyways. Well, sweetie, at least I have something to put on display. Whereas you, you, you have nothing. Absolutely nothing. Did you not see the way your boyfriend was checking me out? Did you not? He looked like he had seen the light. Hallelujah. Please, yes. his name. Please. You know what? Please. This no, I have got out of your pretentious Stop ways. It. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! What's the meaning of this? Huh? In the presence of my guests? Now, from now onwards, 
I want you to know that I want you Daddy I want you to know Daddy Let's be okay. 